Hello everyone. <laughs> Welcome back to another video. Today's video is going to be a wedding guest to get ready with me. So today is Friday and I took the day off of work. I took my final summer Friday or yeah, summer day where I can take four days throughout the summer to just take off of work. So I took today because it was just easier to have enough time to get ready for the wedding. It starts at five. It's here in Manhattan and it's black tie optional. <laughs> so definitely gonna get glammed up and all fancy. I have Glam Squad, Glam Squad coming. So Glam Squad is like, they're basically hair and makeup artists that will come to your home and get you ready for your event. So I figured that that was the easiest. I probably would have done like maybe dry bar or something, but then I wanted, I liked the fact that Glam Squad does an option for makeup too. So we're gonna do that, we're gonna do an updo, we're gonna do lashes, we're gonna do the whole thing. And I have my dress hanging up right here. And these are the shoes I'm going to wear because these are really so comfortable. I wore these at my cousin's wedding and they, I didn't even need to take them off at any point <laughs> dancing or anything because they were so comfortable and this dress comes like completely down to the floor so you're not even going to see my shoes anyway so mine as well secretly be comfortable. And this is a gown that I finally found from Marchesa and I really do like it on. Um, not the exact color I would have chosen but I mean it is what it is. I had to find something quickly so gonna do that and then this is the bag I'm going to wear I'm not so sure yet about accessories as far as like jewelry or whatever but yeah pretty much just that and then I have my hair extensions here and some red lipstick but the rest I'm going to leave up to them and hopefully they're great so yeah just gonna kind of take you guys with me on this getting ready day Or you can tell you're like the real deal because you got that like real camera. The real camera. <laughs> <laughs> just left and they were so nice like actually such nice people like you could just tell um and they let them that they really love doing what they do and they're actually I guess they're saying they're kind of like glam squad uses independent contractors so they're mostly just kind of like freelance doing work just like here and there and then glam squad sometimes they'll do stuff with so they're really good. I ended up going with this little ponytail look, which I will put, put a picture up on my screen, which was the inspo. So yeah, it's just kind of like a full little ponytail and I wanted some little pieces out in the front. Um, right before I go, I might brush these out a little bit just to, I don't know, but I feel like it's okay. I don't know, we'll see. <laughs> so yeah, I like that. And I'll just do a little thing so you can see the back. He did a little, like wrapped a piece of hair around the ponytail there. So cute. And then the makeup also as well, I'll put up my, I'll put up my inspo picture on the screen. I don't think that it's really that close to that. Although I said I wanted a red lip and we used the Petal Bouche by Violet FR. The eyes I think she did a really good job with. I really like them. It's like a very kind of subtle eye um with like a faded wing because i didn't want like a stark like liquid eyeliner looking wing i just wanted kind of like a very soft kind of subtle wing and i didn't want to go crazy on the eye makeup because i knew i was going to do this like bold red lip so <laughs> so overall like they were so nice and i really liked them i think it's just like you know for me sometimes you know, obviously I've talked about this before, but when it comes to working with like um, people who do hair and makeup, I just like want them to feel good and like happy and like 
think that I'm happy with the work so I always try to be so like yes I love it thank you so much um but I don't know I kind of feel like with the makeup on my actual face I wish it was a little bit less matte and a little bit more glowy and I did say like you know I tend to like the really glowy looks and don't really like you know matte makeup so and I think she kind of went in with like a matte blush a matte foundation um she didn't even really put highlighter on she just used the hourglass which is like a super super subtle one so what I'm gonna do and I feel like this is totally okay and should be normalized a little bit more is just actually go in with some of my own makeup and just touch it up a little bit I've actually seen and heard of like even like models who work backstage at fashion shows and stuff will be like okay the makeup artist did it and then they'll go back in themselves and kind of touch up things just a little bit because you just at the end of the day the point is for you to feel comfortable and if you're not going to be comfortable all night then obviously that's not what you want and you're paying for it so you should you should feel like you're looking good so i think what i'm going to do is I put a lot of makeup under my eyes and it's creasing so I'm just gonna blend that a bit what I'm gonna do is add a little bit more highlighter because I like to glow you know I like to be like bing I am here when it comes to my glam looks this is the rare beauty this is in the shade enlightened so it's like a really kind of pale pearly pink highlighter and it has this doe foot applicator actually let's go do this let's go do this by the light by my window because my bathroom doesn't have good lighting and this is important <laughs> okay yay all right i am happy with it i don't want to say i'm not happy with it i just need to tweak it a little bit and then it's perfectly fine. So, mm. yay! There I am <laughs> under all this. And then I do want to add just a tiny bl bit of blush as well. So I'm going to go with this really glowy one from the Dior Backstage Glow Face Palette. I love this little palette. There we go. Yay! Okay, so <clears throat> now I have a couple hours until I... I'm meeting Lyle. I think it's two hours. Now I just need to figure out my nails. So since I have two hours, I might actually see if I can walk to a place nearby and get them done. I definitely want to want to go somewhere nearby though because it's 90 degrees out. So this will this will this will melt. This will come down. You know, this will all fade. <laughs> so yeah, there's a place like two blocks away. I might see. What I want to use is my little Chanel. So this is the Chanel Ballerina um, Les, Les Vernis. <laughs> it's just a very light pink and I want to do this on my fingernails and then just make sure that my toenails are looking good. I just feel like you have to have your nails done for like a wedding but then also especially for like a black tie wedding so I feel like it would be bad if I didn't. But I think it's okay if I bring my own nail polish. I am just making up all my own drills today. It's so empowering. <laughs> so yeah, I think I'm gonna go go down there See if they can take me, do this one, and I haven't eaten anything today. Only thing I have had is a green smoothie. <sighs> and uh, I feel like that's easier now that I have this red lipstick on. You know, not mess up the lipstick. It's easier to just eat up, drink out of a straw. Done. They look like this. 
just a cute little very subtle but just polished look I would say polished and then on my toes I also just got a light pink because I just tend to always do that and Lyle will be here to come pick me up and go uptown in about 30 minutes so I'm going to start doing little final touches of my jewelry putting my bag together putting my dress on my shoes little makeup touch-ups yeah <laughs> 